Welcome to the Sumo Logic Build Demo. Today we're showcasing an example of a build dashboard for our staging environment for our different web applications. You'll notice we're ingesting logs from our key technologies to give us a global view of our staging environment. You can see on the left we are tracking events from our code repository, GitHub, to track everything from our different event types to specific actions in the repo. Our build automation server, Jenkins, allows us to see the builds coming in real time as commits are performed in the code repo while gaining insight into specific builds and the sites that are being affected. Finally, we see our operational web logs from the sites themselves. Here we can track specific status codes and objects as they perform in our staging environment. Now our eye is immediately drawn to the peak and error status codes on this particular panel. Fortunately, I've already used an outlier alert to send a webhook to my Slack team channel to let me know that something's wrong. You can see that we can have configurable alerts to send to our communication tools of choice to let us know the instant something is wrong, allowing us to drill back into the dashboard to start our investigation. So let's drill into the status code dashboard to open our search against the raw logs. By going into our messages tab, you can see I can actually traverse our timeline to get to our point of interest in question. Now we see primarily 200 status codes here, so in order to quickly find our needle in the haystack, I'm going to select a 10 minute window around a log to drill into the specific time frame of the errors. Next, we're going to click our log reduce button, which will reduce the stack of logs into manageable patterns. By ignoring the variable chatter in my logs, we can see very quickly what's occurred. While I'm still receiving valid 200 status codes from my web logs, I can also see the 500 error codes in question and the particular upload.php module that was causing this error. Additionally, I have PHP debug logs in my log stack that's showing me exactly within this PHP module for the site where the error occurred. This gives us insight into the when, what, where, and how. Now let's focus on who did it. I'm going to open our drill down dashboard to give us more information on the events in our staging environment. We have a sea of different events here, including a pane that tracks status codes all the way back to the objects that were committed in our GitHub repository and the GitHub committers of those objects and changes. Now, I'm simply going to filter on what I learned from my previous investigation by using the upload PHP module in question. You'll notice we've designated only specific dashboards to update on this filter given us a clear indication of where this module is involved and more specifically the correlation of our 500 status codes all the way back to the user nefarious who made the commit to the object upload.php. So we've now found the when, the what, the where, and the who. Knowing that we fixed the issue, I can now run and use the live tail view to ensure I'm no longer receiving the 500 status code error messages in real time across all of my sites. I can go in and highlight specific terms that I'm looking for in my live tail view to get a heads up view in real time of status codes that are coming into the system. This is just one of the many use cases Sumo offers to gain insight into your build environments. You can sign up today for a free account to start making your machine data work for you.